I told him. Who planned this murder? I did. I was in a two on two. I'm the uptown hey, nigga. You know what's up or don't you? Word of who made you? I'm a rude bitch nigga. What are you made up of? Take a listen as Gypsy calls her father from jail. Daddy, I understand that we haven't had a chance to get close in a long time, probably my whole life. I have a lot of questions, obviously. You know, I'm confused. The stuff you see in the news is horrible and not true. You know that I love my mama and you know that I would never her, her. Just know that I'm innocent and know that I'm still your little girl. Happy she was walking. Big red flags. I felt so stupid. If she can walk, what else have we been lied to about? Your mom's dead, okay? Now, what I want to ask you Wait, what, is what, what, what? Your, your, mom's, your mom's passed away, okay? And she's deceased, all right? Now, what I want to ask you. Did you have involvement in this? Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, listen to me for just a second, okay? I want you to understand something, okay? Remember the snowball that we talked about? You remember the, the pencil that we talked about? I'm going to almost demonstrate something with a pencil here, okay? Look at me. Look at me for just a second, okay? Sometimes people are going along, you know how you got a pencil? You got the lead here and you got the eraser right here, right? <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? You've seen a pencil, right? You've used a pencil before, right? Okay. And when you write with a pencil, you write your own story, right? Okay. And you take that pencil and you're writing along with your story. Well, sometimes some people make mistakes when they write stuff down, don't they? We've all made mistakes. You've made mistakes. I've made mistakes, right? You ever, you ever made a mistake in your life? Yeah. And I've made mistakes in my life. And hang, hang on just a second, okay? When, you, when you're writing this stuff down, all of a sudden you make a mistake. Well, what do you do with that mistake? You take that pencil and you flip it over and you start erasing stuff, okay? And you erase it and you recorrect it. And you take that pencil and then you rewrite your history, your story, okay? Uh -huh. And I think that's where you're at with this tonight, okay? Uh -huh. That you have a chance to rewrite your story. And I think that that's what you can do is you can rewrite your story tonight. My mother brought me back with her, smashed my computer. She chained me to a bed, tinted the windows so nobody could see what was going on inside the house, and put bells on the doors. So if I tried to sneak out again, she could hear. I had asked her, you know, if I can go to the bathroom. She'd unchain me, take me to the bathroom, but then chain me back up to the bed. It's it's hard to it's hard to do, but you can do it. Oh, I went from nineteen to thirty-two. Jeez, God, I got old so quick. <laughs> How did yeah. that happen? You never went to school either. Mm -hmm. I see you. You want to blow me a kiss? Very good. But the relationship was far from perfect, and the couple broke up. Not long after, Petey was saying that she was sick, problem sleeping, epilepsy, and it just progressed from there. Leukemia, paralyzed muscular dystrophy, 
and she would have seizures. Gypsy was probably seven, eight years old. She's in a wheelchair now, she needs a feeding tube. Was Dee Dee a good mother? I told Dee Dee she was the best mother. There's no way I can do what you're doing. You have a sick child, you, it's constantly 24 seven taking care of her and everything. I mean, I always praised her and told her, good job. Rod and his new wife, Christy, would have sporadic visits with Gypsy, but they are never alone. You know, all the visits, Dee Dee had to be there the whole time. Something never felt right about it. Just, Dee Dee was so controlling of her. This is the last photo taken of Rod with his daughter before fate would seemingly deal Gypsy and Dee Dee another cruel blow, leaving the pair displaced and depleted by Hurricane Katrina in 2005. In some areas, the water is now 20 feet deep. Their home ravaged by the storm and floodwaters. They took refuge at this nearby special needs shelter. I've learned from Dee Dee was that they were homeless, no place to go. So Mercy Hospital loaded them up on the helicopter and flew them up. Hello everybody, this is Gypsy Rose reporting from Aurora, Missouri. Check this part out. I'm about to dive off our porch into the pile of snow. You ready? Really? And she know how to play the game too. Yeah. Look how she do her legs. Yeah. She do it like she really can't use them things. Really? Y'all seen it's that? It's hard to answer a lot. I thought it was weird. You know, uh, she, I mean, I always did know that she, she told me her mental capacity was, you know, like five years behind. You know, when she was like 15, she was like, oh yeah, you know, her learning is coming Diddy was along, just lying. Like, you know, mentally at, at like a nine or 10 year old. She looks like she would be 10 and 11, and she was probably like 21, 22. Wow. I wonder what she was thinking. Me too. I always wanted to know that. ZD and I met at the uh, Golden Island, and I met up again a couple weeks later, and we started dating again. She got pregnant. She got pregnant and being from the South, I guess, it was, I was raised where, you know, you got a girl pregnant and, you know, you got married, but there's no other question about what you did. I was 17. I woke up on my 18th birthday and I'm like, what am I doing here? She was kind of into some dark, darkness, dark things. Uh, started talking a little bit about witchcrafts and uh, just, just different weird dark stuff like that. It's, it's kind of weird. She had a pet tarantula. Why did you buy the knife at Walmart? I did not buy it. I stole it. Whose idea was it? Was it good? Buffy, you have shoes. They look great. Do you have any plans? Anything specifically? She said, I'm starting to feel more relaxed. Don't hurt me. The last word she said to me was, don't hurt me. While Nick was on his way to Gypsy's house to carry out the plan, he was texting her telling her what to do. I went into the bathroom. I got kind of in a fetal position and I covered my ears. And um, I heard my mom wake up. And then she sounded startled. And there was some noises that I can't make out. And I heard her say my name a couple times and, um, and she said help me and then there was just silence. Gypsy would stay hiding in the bathroom until Nick came and got her and she helped him clean up blood.
Gypsy Rose Blanchard has been seen in public for the first time since her release on Thursday as she checked out of a hotel to begin her life as a free woman. The 32-year-old Munchausen by proxy victim was spotted leaving a Fairfield Inn & Suites in Missouri, where she had stayed overnight shortly after walking free from prison almost 12 hours earlier. The couple then drove to a mall in a convoy of cars including producers and a camera crew that have been following the abuse victim around for their lifetime show, where Blanchard bought two pairs of sneakers. Her mother forced her to pretend she was gravely ill. Dee Dee allegedly forcing Gypsy to use a wheelchair and a feeding tube to take seizure medication that destroyed her teeth and to have as many as 30 surgeries she did not need. Because I had multiple eye muscle surgeries, multiple leg surgeries, Gypsy says when Dee Dee caught her walking, she was beaten. How would her mother have been able to fool doctors for so long? It is not hard to fool doctors. Doctors are trained to rely on the history provided by a parent. My mother told the doctors that I was mentally incompetent. It's been a blessing. People have been so nice to us. It feels like we finally came home. It is wonderful. It's so beautiful and happy and homey. Habitat for Humanity gifted DD this home after theirs were destroyed in a hurricane. It was given rent free due to Gypsy's illnesses, which turned out to be completely fake. It is overwhelming. It's you can never dream it in your wildest dream that so many people would just those and her mother the move brings a sense of security a new town and a new home that has welcomed them with open arms it just proves that happy endings are not just in fairy tales they're real and true in real life also they couldn't drag me back to louisiana kicking and screaming i'm here to stay we're home had gave me this little glass house and she said this one day this will be real and now it finally is gypsy and her mother had just moved into a habitat for humanity home in missouri after their house was devastated in 2005 by hurricane katrina it appeared to be a feel-good story for this child whose mother said she had brain damage leukemia asthma muscular dystrophy and was not able to walk but it was all a lie Dee Dee Blanchard had fabricated it all. <laughs> Home movies capture the vibrant spirit of a young teenage girl. So where are you going today? I'm going to Children's Mercy Hospital to see my dentist. For my teeth. Full of enthusiasm and effervescence, but behind the smiles, life for Gypsy Blanchard and her mother Dee Dee is one replete with hardships and challenges. Gypsy is in a wheelchair. They were local darlings. I mean, they were the shining star in this town of people who can outlast adversity and get through everything. The mother-daughter duo are local celebrities, the subject of countless local news profiles and articles. Gypsy and her multiple illnesses and diseases, leukemia, muscular dystrophy, she had learning disabilities, had not been able to be out of a wheelchair since she was five years old. And so the community really embraced them. Dee Dee's originally from Louisiana, a one-time beauty queen. Oh, you're a DC military queen, Miss Claudine of Peace. 
and nurses aide. She marries Rod Blanchard at age 24. Together, the couple welcomes a beautiful baby girl. Perfectly healthy, pretty little baby. Named her Gypsy Rose. I was excited and very scared. I'm not going to lie, I was scared. I'm 18 years old and I, I got a baby here, so. Uh... But she was beautiful and perfectly yeah, healthy. Yeah, she was. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with her. She looked perfect. that shocked me the most was the closet inside Gypsy's house. From the top to the bottom, full of so many medications. This isn't your ordinary medicine cabinet. It's Dee Dee's personal pharmacy, a large linen closet fully stocked. She had even written on several of the bottles of Gypsy's medication as if she was writing it for a child. For the anti-seizure medication, it would say, shaky baby. The organization of the medications was shocking to me because in every other area of Dee Dee's life, it appeared that she had absolutely no organization or cleanliness, except when it came to these medications. It let me know from the very beginning that something here was seriously wrong. Gypsy Rose Blanchard, who was serving time in prison for her role in the murder mother, has been granted parole and is scheduled to be released in December. In July 2016, Gypsy Blanchard pleaded guilty to murder for her role in the killing of her mother. D.D. Blanchard, she was sentenced to 10 years in prison. Gypsy is set to be released on December 28, 2023. By then, she will have served 85% of her 10-year sentence. Prior to her prison sentence, Gypsy spent time in the Green County Jail, and her time in the county jail contributes to her overall sentence. This team spent the afternoon moving boxes and furniture into this Aurora house. And it's all for this family, Dee Dee Blanchard and her 12-year-old daughter, Gypsy Rose. It's been a blessing. People have been so nice to us. It feels like we finally came home. It is wonderful. It's so beautiful and happy and homey. A home that this family was desperately in need of. Their trek to the Ozarks began when a St. John's medical team... During Hurricane Katrina, Dee Dee and Gypsy's home had been destroyed. And they had basically lost 
everything that they had. It was just a complete wash. So they were relocated up to Missouri, and they were basically here to just start over from scratch. We basically got out of there. When they said leave, we left. After weeks of staying in the hospital, Dee Dee and Gypsy Rose were then life lighted to St. John's in Springfield for care. Team leader Dr. The more that I got to know Dee Dee and Gypsy, the more I got to know about Gypsy's ailments. She had muscular dystrophy. She had a feeding tube. She suffered from severe migraines and she was on a lot of different medications. the door and I was completely naked but I was wearing a wig because my head was shaved. I let him in and he was he was holding the knife in his hand and his finger was bleeding. Mm -hmm. um, and he said she tried to fight me off but I was too strong for her. Clean up my finger. At this point Gypsy claims Nick is Victor which is what he describes as his evil alter ego. So I got bandages, cleaned off his finger. Then he commanded me to clean up blood spots on the carpet that led from her bedroom to the kitchen where he had walked to get a paper towel to cover up his finger. He tells me to grab a suitcase. I find a suitcase. Um, and he starts going through my things in my closet, picking out clothes to pack. Nick packs the knife and steals $4,000 from DD, and they leave the house. And he calls the cab, and we leave the house. What were you doing while your mother was being killed? I was sitting in the bathroom, on the bathroom floor with my hands covering my ears. And how did you know when it was over? It was a code that we settled on to use. Did you settle on this code together? Yes. What was the code? I believe it was three knocks and two scratches on the door. Why did you need a code? To let me know when to come out of the bathroom. Did you have any concerns about what might happen? Yes. What concerns did you have? I was afraid that my mother would end up hurting him. Now, this knife, why did you buy the knife at Walmart? I did not buy it. I stole I, it. I apologize. Uh, why did you get the knife at Walmart? How about that? Um, I, he asked me to. And what was, what was your understanding was going to happen to that knife, with that knife? He was going to use it to kill my mother. And you knew that when you went and stole it, correct? Yes. live like in this house and there's no wheelchair ramp anymore. They took it down. But yeah, already. Um, got a Christmas tree in the window. 
Bye.